Hey y'all, I am back with another lunchbox video where I'm going to show you everything that I packed for my husband to take to work over the course of his five day work week. So first up, I threw together this quick like pulled pork chili and it turned out so delicious. I used that leftover pork from my last video where I made the Cuban sandwiches and yeah, I'm going to show you exactly how I made it. So I started by heating up about a tablespoon of olive oil and I threw in a heaping spoonful of minced garlic and I let that cook for about a minute. And now I'm going to start throwing in the leftover pork. I was just using my hands because it was cold and it was kind of hard to get apart. And plus I didn't want to dump like all the leftovers in or that would have been too much. But obviously uh, use as little or as much as you would want to in your chili. But if I had a guess, this was probably around like two and a half to three cups. And I let that cook for a few minutes before I started adding stuff in just to kind of help get it broken apart again and you know starting to heat it through so now I'm gonna throw in one can of some diced tomatoes the juice and all I'm also gonna add in two of these eight ounce cans of tomato sauce I was just throwing in what I already had on hand or I would just use like a normal size can but that's what I had so that's what I used I also decided to throw in a can of baked beans and I'm so glad that I did because I just think like pulled pork and baked beans is a meal in itself so I figured it would complement each other really well and also when I make normal chili I like to add brown sugar in the pot because I just think that it works so well with tomato sauce I love the sweetness that it adds and it just makes for a really well-rounded flavor but once I got that stirred together I could tell it was a little too thick so I added some leftover beef broth that I had in the fridge I would say around one and a half cups to thin it out I'm also going to throw in several dashes of Worcestershire sauce for the seasonings I did some onion powder lots of chili powder some cumin I remembered I had some of this grind staff rub the three king seasoning uh, but you could use like any barbecue seasoning that you like I also decided to use some smoked paprika and I love the smokiness that that added to this and then just some black pepper so I'm gonna get that stirred together and for the last ingredient I'm gonna do some Frank's hot sauce I wanted a little bit of spice so I added in several dashes of that so I waited for that to come up to a bowl and then I added my lid and I turned the heat down and I let that simmer for about 30 minutes and that was it. All the flavors worked together so perfectly and it was hands down one of the best things that I have ever just thrown together. It was a big hit with Josh. He bragged on this for days and said it is one of his favorite things that I have ever packed him for lunch. So I will most definitely be making it again. As y'all seen in the first clip, I did top his bowl with some cheese and I also gave him a little baggie of these salting crackers that he crushed up and threw it in there to eat just like he would with normal chili. So to go along with that, I also made him a turkey wrap using the last one of my sun-dried tomato basil tortillas. And I did pop that in the microwave first just to make it easier to work with. on that same box as the turkey wrap I'm gonna throw in one of these sumo oranges this was my first time ever buying these I have heard so many people raving about how good they are they are on the pricier side but this is something that you can't buy like all year round so it's definitely like a specialty and to me they were a hundred percent worth it they're similar to a cutie orange but they are bigger and um, they're super easy to peel and they were really like nice and juicy and sweet not bitter at all we all really love those and then lastly Josh picked out out these little chocolate Krispy Kreme Cruller donuts from Walmart. So I gave him two of those as a little treat. And yeah, that was his lunch for his first day back to work. For drinks, I gave him a Gatorade Zero. The yellow one is probably our favorite. And then per usual, he has his container of water that he takes most days. Now, this was the only day that I actually filmed myself packing up his lunchbox. I know that some people like to see that, so I wanted to include it at least once, but he just has a normal Coleman lunchbox that I ordered from Amazon. I can definitely link it in my description box if you're on 
the hunt for a good one. I always throw in a couple ice packs, of course, to keep everything cool. The Cooler Shock ones, though, are newer to us, and Josh has said that he notices it keeps stuff colder longer, which is important when you don't have access to a refrigerator. Up next, I'm going to make him a steak and rice bowl, which was actually his idea, and that is rare because he is such like an I don't care guy, but this is just some steak that's been cut into strips and seasoned with fajita seasoning, and I also just picked up these rice cups that are microwavable. You just pop them in for a minute, and they're super convenient for a lunch. So this steak is going to cook up super quick, which makes it perfect for like a meal prep. I got my skillet super hot with a little bit of olive oil, and I'm just laying the steak pieces in, and I sear those for two minutes per side, and I always like to use a timer when cooking steak. That way I do not overcook it because nobody wants that. But this is my first time ever buying this. So of course I had to give it a little taste test to see if it's worth buying again since it is a little bit pricey for like a lunch. Um, but it was super good. Like it was juicy and tender and we love the flavor that it had. Like Josh really loved this as well. And you could totally like add some tortillas on the side and make some tacos with this. But Josh wanted it just like this. Um, he does want to try to be a little bit healthier on some days because we do have a beach vacation coming up and you know how that is. But I decided to add like the steak drippings from the pan over the rice for some extra flavor. To go along with that, I threw in a bag of these dill pickle flavored sunflower seeds. He can just leave those in his truck and, you know, snack on them as he pleases. I'm sure it'll take him a while to finish it off. But um, I also threw in a peanut butter and Ritz cracker pack. And what goes better with peanut butter than a good or ripe banana? Perfect combination. Lastly, I'm just going to throw in one of these Chobani Flip yogurts. This is the peanut butter dream one. I also gave him a spoon for that. He also has a fork over there for the steak and rice. For the drinks, other than water, he is getting an orange Gatorade Zero and a Zero Sugar Cherry Coke. The next day, I made Josh a couple grilled chicken sandwiches. So as you can see, I just laid out a couple pieces of tin foil, and I'm just laying down some hamburger buns that I have toasted up. For the chicken, I just picked up some thin cut chicken breast that I seasoned both sides with this Dano's Original Seasoning. I threw it in my skillet with a little bit of olive oil, and those cooked up in no time. So this is a really quick lunch to throw together, and he just wanted them plain. He has some mail packets in his truck, so that's what he added to those. And then to go along with it, I made made um, some dill pickle pasta salad. So if that looks and sounds good to you, keep watching. I'm going to quickly show you how I made it. So to a mixing bowl, I'm going to add a half a cup of mayo, followed by a quarter cup of sour cream. I did half this recipe, so I did a half of a third cup of some pickle juice, whatever that would be in tablespoons, I don't know. But I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of some dry dill, or you could use fresh if you have it. And then I'm just going to do some sea salt and black pepper to taste. So I'm just going to get that mixed together. I did forget to add onion powder, so I'm adding it in now. I did chop up about a cup's worth of pickles, um, so I added that in. And then I took these cheese cubes and I did chop them into smaller pieces. I thought that would be better than biting into like big chunks in every bite. So lastly, I'm just going to add a half a box of some cooked and drained rotini pasta. So I like to fold that together with a spatula, and that is it. It's one of our favorite side dishes for lunch, dinner, whatever. So good. So I also threw um, a side of strawberries on the side, just some sliced strawberries, and I gave him a strawberry cheesecake yogurt to go along with that. And then lastly, I just gave him a little snack size bag of these pistachios for something crunchy. And then for the drinks, he is getting another yellow Gatorade Zero and just a regular Coke Zero. I came across this taco pizza kit at Walmart and it caught my eye. I figured it would make a nice little lunch. So let's see what it's all about. So I'm going to start by spraying these crusts with some olive oil spray and I'm going to pre-bake those for a few minutes. So here I am pulling that out of the oven and it didn't say to add any pizza sauce, but I thought it needed some pizza sauce. So I'm going to add a little bit of that down and I'm just taking the back of my spoon and I'm spreading that out into a nice little even layer. I did cook up some ground beef over there with some taco seasoning, and it did come with the taco seasoning. So I'm just going to add a good amount of that to each. So once it's nice and meaty, I'm going to go in with some cheese. I'm just using this Mexican blend cheese. 
and then I'm just gonna pop that back in the oven to finish off. So while that was in the oven, I went ahead and prepared him a salad. Um, if you are new to my lunchbox videos, I use this salad container pretty often. I ordered it from Amazon. So again, I can link that in the description box. Um, we really love it, but I just added some iceberg lettuce to the bottom. I put my divider piece on and now I'm gonna load it down with all of Josh's favorite toppings. So we've got the shredded cheese, the bacon bits, What's a salad without croutons? We have really been loving these Olive Garden ones. I found these at Save A Lot, but I'm pretty sure you can get them at pretty much any grocery store. And then lastly, I'm just gonna chop him up a hard boiled egg. We both really love that in our salads. If you have never tried it before, you are so missing out. You gotta try it at least once. And plus you're adding some extra protein. The middle pop-out container is how you store your salad dressing. So we're gonna go with this Ken Steakhouse Creamy Caesar dressing. We have been loving that lately. And like I said, it just goes right in the middle and you add your lid and it is good to go. So he has also been craving some kiwis lately. So I just bought like a large container and once they were finally ripe enough to eat, I just sliced up the whole thing. So I'm gonna give him quite a few and what we all didn't eat this day, I just popped them in the freezer for like smoothies since you know, once you cut them, they don't seem to last no time. But by the time I got those two things prepared, it was time to pull out the taco pizzas. So the last step is to take the included like mild taco sauce packet and just drizzle that over the top. So I just like sliced those in half and stored it that way. Um, he said that he only wanted one of them. So I was able to do a little taste test to give y'all my honest opinion. And it was really good. But the only complaint is that the crust on the outside that had like no toppings on it turned out hard for some reason. So I probably wouldn't buy it again, but I'll definitely use the idea in my own way. So for the last couple of snacks that I also included, we're gonna do one of these Fiber One brownies. And lastly, just one of these like cheese cracker packs and he's gonna get another yellow Gatorade Zero. Now on to the last lunch for his work week. I'm gonna grill up these frozen turkey burgers. They come in a pack of three, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw all of those onto my electric griddle. I am gonna spray this well with some nonstick cooking spray, and I'm also gonna spray the top of the patty since um, ground turkey doesn't have a lot of grease. Definitely don't want anything to stick or for anything to like dry out. I'm also gonna go ahead and cut up this whole package of smoked sausage, and I'm just gonna cook that alongside the turkey burgers. My kids really love those smoked sausages so that's why I just went ahead and threw on the whole pack so that I could give them some as well. So back to the turkey burgers. I have been buying these for years literally since I was in high school which was like 10 11 years ago whatever it was um but they're perfectly seasoned they're already seasoned you don't have to add anything to it and i just love the fact that you can throw them on the grill already frozen it just makes for a really quick meal and they always turn out so good so as for the cheese we just got a new deli in our town and we picked up this chipotle cheese and it is so good like it's super creamy it has the texture of kind of like velveta cheese but it's got a really nice smokiness to it and a little bit of spice it went perfectly with these burgers so i gave him two of those and he did not want a bun on it so he's just going to be eating that off the fork and to go along with that i also whipped him up like a shortcut version of potato salad so of course i'm going to show you how i did that so i just picked up one of these like steamable bags of baby potatoes and i just popped that in the microwave for like five minutes i did let it cool for a little bit before i started handling them but i'm just going to simply cut these up into like little bite-sized pieces just like i would with normal potato salad where i boil the potatoes and all that but just this shortcut alone saves so much time so after i got them all cut up i added two hard boiled eggs that i boiled the day before with um josh's salad i did boil up some extra ones and i'm just seasoning this with some salt pepper, onion, and garlic powder, and lots of paprika. So in place of the mayonnaise and dill pickle relish, I picked up this fried pickle and ranch dip that everyone has been talking about. Um, we first tried it with some ruffle chips, and y'all, it is so worth the hype. Very, very good. I will definitely be rebuying it. So I just threw in what was left of that container on top of everything with a little bit of mustard and a small splash of pickle juice since that's what I do with my regular potato salad. So that was it. Super good. Um, I do like my normal potato salad better, but like I said, it was good and I would definitely do it again. And Josh really, really liked it. 
Um, so I did sprinkle some extra paprika on his serving and I gave him a little white baby bell cheese with a good handful of pepperoni. And I gave him a little side container of some A1 sauce to dip his burger and smoked sausage in. I didn't record myself like adding the smoked sausage, but as you can see, I just put it in the same container as the burgers. So to go with that, he's getting a golden delicious apple, a Nutri-Grain bar in the mixed berry flavor, and some of his favorite chocolate. He loves Reese cups. So I gave him two of the miniature ones, one in white chocolate and one just regular. And then he is going to get an LA to wash it all down. So that is going to wrap up this video. I hope that I could give you a couple new ideas, maybe inspire you to, you know, save some money and pack a lunch every now and then. And as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and just for all the love and support on my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. So I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your week and a safe weekend. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.